Like, I'm, I'm actually going to do this, and I might start laughing because it's really cliche, but it's really good, but it's true. I think the people you find at Kenyan are unlike anyone. <laughs> because people are Kenyan, I don't know, they just... They're nerdy, but in like the best way In the way best possible. way, yeah. It's like subtly nerdy. Really interested in kind of experiencing personal growth from engaging different uh, styles of life that they're not used to. Because um, I think most of us aren't from rural Ohio, and like as a result, we're not only getting used to living here, um, but also getting used to living with people from different parts of the world. My friend James kind of put this in a really cool way. He and I were talking about our other friends from other schools. Um, they were talking about how there's one type of song that describes the students in whatever university, and he were talking about there's no really one song that you could use to describe the personality of everyone in Kenya. First and foremost, I would say they are quirky. There's always bizarre facts about people, like somebody was a unicycler, somebody was a model for textbooks. One of the reasons I transferred to Kenyan is because of the strong community that we have here, and we bring in people from big cities and little towns, and we all come up on this hilltop and kind of just, just form a family. Kenyan students are all, they all have, you know, very varied interests, but they all have the same love for this place, this tiny little school in the middle of Ohio. That's so randomly wonderful. Yeah. So they all have this great love for it. So everybody that you meet, for the most part, you can have an incredible conversation with. Literally, before I even took a class here, I went to go have a, a sheet signed by the English professor that I wanted, I wanted to take his class first semester of my freshman year, and um, I go and I'm like, hey, do you have any spots left in your class? And he's like, sure, so he signs the paper, And but it wasn't just that. We ended up talking about, like, I think it was about Tolstoy and Dickens uh, for about an hour and a half, and I was just amazed that this professor had the time or, like, like cared enough to talk to this, like, random freshman who walked into his office. I do an independent study for my American history major about quilting. Through this independent study, I've been able to actually meet and work with Amish quilters. I've met two specifically. They like let me into their house. They've made food for me. In my satire, sensibility, and enlightenment class last year, uh, my professor had some grand point that he was trying to make, but he just whipped out like 10 lines of a uh, like 17th century Scottish poem which was just kind of like, and it, and it was clear, and it made sense, and we all got it. Um, but that whole idea is very, I think, unique to Kenyan, and something that would only happen here, and only like, kind of be cool here. Knowing that I have this community to come back to after I graduate, and when I end up in a big city like New York, or LA, or Chicago, I'll always have this place here on the hill to come back to, and that's kind of nice to know.